Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So today we're going to do a review and demo on the new ANI R150 Silver and the main purpose of this video is actually just to tell all you guys that the R150 Silvers are basically exactly the same as the R150 Blacks which is the previous model that actually won my top 8 mini spray gun competition so um, yeah that video that I did if anyone's actually looking for that black gun now you'll be looking for the silver one but yeah it's, it's exactly the same gun so we'll do a quick look at how the old one sprays versus the new one we're having a quick look at what you get inside the box I like to run the ANI uh, cheater valves slash uh, gauges, otherwise known as a regulator, but they don't really regulate anything. They will just give you a reading of your air pressure, which, yeah, as you see, I'm putting on there. They're a nice uh, little cheap gauge, but they do perform quite well. Um, again, these actually won uh, number one in my regulator review. So, um, yeah, you won't beat them for the price. They're around $30 a pop. So, you know, when you're looking at some of like the Sarda Jet and the Devilbuses, they're like around the $100 mark. I think you might even go like $120, $130 for the Sardas and um, 80 around 80 for the Devilbus ones. So, um, yeah, these things do last as well, those cheetah valves. But the gun itself, yep, as you can see, it's a pretty basic um, gun, but it's a good build quality. They're made in uh, Italy, so, you know, it's not just cheap Chinese knockoff or anything like that. They are uh, an original design from ANI, so uh, 10 points for that, not just uh, copying people. Um, and, yeah, so this is the R150. Quick look at how it's going to be spraying the base coat. First, when I did get these R150 silvers instead of the blacks, I, th I felt as if the fan was a little bit smaller, but that was, I think now, looking back, because I was using the 1.0 mil, most of the time, I'll be using a 2 mil on, on this gun here. This is a 2 mil, and I think I was just actually noticing that it was putting out less paint in the 1 mil. So for spot repairs and stuff like this in a workshop environment, I'd probably say 1.2 mil is where you really want to aim for. Uh, however, I do have a, a, this 1.0 mil, and I've just been putting fade out thinner through that. So at the end of this video, you will see me using my R150 silver with the 1.0 mil, but just for a bit of fade out thinner. So this is a 1.2 mil here. I'm just going to be putting a couple of quick coats of clear down, and um, yeah, nice quick application. I've found these guns do operate better at high pressure. Uh, so even, you know, three to four bar, I know it might sound quite high, but for a mini gun, it's, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's not like, uh, using a great deal of paint any more than you will with any other gun, at least, uh, any other mini gun. And yeah, it's, it's a great little gun. It's one of those things that because they're not totally overpriced, you're not like overly precious with them. You can just sort of throw them around. Um, and yeah, they're a great little performer. Bang for your buck, you can't beat them. Um, one thing I would recommend though, when you if you get one of these, get the big pot. So you can see like you'd be forgiven for thinking, hey, he's using like a full size gun here, but I'm not. It's just a full size pot. So the other day I painted a set of rims, like a set of BMW wheels with these, and it was really handy to have that uh, full size pot on it. Um, because yeah, I also don't actually like the pot the original pot, the small pot, the lid on them are real bit clunky and really tight to get on. So for an extra five dollars you can get the, uh, it's basically the full size pot with a smaller thread to fit into the mini gun. So yeah, that's it. Quick two coats. This is standoff standard clear. Now as I said earlier we're going to get the 1.0 mil and now I just leave AK350 in there which is my fade out thinner. Um, Puff a bit of that over your blend, quick buff out later on. I'm actually going to be, I'm working on a uh, video for the full spot repair on this Jeep that I did here. So yeah, you can look forward to the full process, like repair, did a full repair, like the bumper was all mangled up and then we'll go right through the polishing stages at the end as well. So yeah, keep an eye out for that one. But as I say, this is just a quick video to let you guys know that the R150 silvers are exactly the same as R150 blacks. So if you're in the market for a minigun, definitely gets two big thumbs up from me. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.